Movie Mods here. I uh, just got done successfully installing my digital, or Do Dakota digital tachometer modulator. And so this is what you do. And like I said before, all this, whatever, it works. Probably going to gut it, swap it out, or at least clean it up. But anyway, uh, this is an H4 chassis, a Subaru Legacy. It came with a four cylinder. I put a six in from a 93 SVX. So what you have here, I'll make it real simple. I'll line all these snakes up for you. If you have a normal tachometer, you don't have an aftermarket gate attack, the second output goes to your tachometer. Okay? Then over here, the input. If it comes from your computer, from your ECM module, that goes straight to the input. And then there's some other shit, but that's basically it. The ground down here. It says ground and sensor ground. Uh, all my sensors are actually grounded right here to the chassis uh, because I don't see a point in running them all over to the stock location. I thought it was fucking retarded. I'm sure Subaru has a reason and a rhyme why. I didn't give a fuck. I put them all right there. So, sensor ground, boom, ran, and I jumped the system ground and the sensor ground together, and I gotta shorten that up, but the power, I jumped right off of my ECM control module main, then I shrink wrapped the fuck out of it. Why did I shrink wrap the fuck out of it? Because that's how you do wiring. You use shrink wrap, electrical tape if you're in dire straits, but shrink wrap secures and locks out moisture. And it also helps support the wire. It's less likely to bend if it's in like a high stress area. Oh, I don't know, like the coils for a car if it's a COP engine. But like right here, it's now reinforced with two layers of fucking shrink wrap. It's less likely to develop a kink. And, you know, it's a double layer protection. I actually use two layers of shrink wrap. That's off my main relay. Hey, Soupy Mods here. That uh, is basically the install of the Decode Digital Tachometer Adjuster. Uh, you can use it for four to eight cylinder swaps, eight to six, back and forth, in between. Uh, it's a real simple device. It works really well. And so far, I haven't had any issues with it. I noticed it fluctuates once in a while, but aside from that, good product for the 80 or 90 bucks, whatever you can find it for. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you need any help, I'll try to help you as best I can. Thank you for watching. See you again in about a week or two.